Wow. That is very surprising. Holy bejesus. Wow. And, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yes, this is the card I wanted. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another epic unboxing. In this video, we're going old school. Kind of. Sort of. It's still based on the old school, but it's the 20th anniversary of the Spell Rulers, which, of course, if you guys have no have any history of the original Yu-Gi-Oh, it was actually called Magic Rulers. But, of course, Magic the Gathering was like, Hail the freak, now you're not calling them magic. Probably not in those exact words, but you guys sort of drift. But they basically said no magic. They, 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 they even took out all the magic cards. Now it's spell cards. Of course, this is the 20th anniversary one, so it will have the spell card instead of the magic card uh, derivative. But uh, it's always, of course, nice to go back to the original, which, of course, is that spell rulers. But, of course, if you haven't seen Metal Raiders, definitely check out the video right over there because you want to see that instead. But enough rambling, guys. We're just going to go right into it, obviously. Let's talk a little bit about metal rulers <laughs> god damn it spell rulers you guys, you guys know what i'm talking about spell rulers was actually the first of its set to come out with ritual cards which we'll get into a what kind of like why i didn't really like it that much obviously a bunch of magic stuff quick play spells is of course the first time i think it's included as well the one thing i do like about it of course it features pegasus toon world and toon monsters within this set uh, if you guys recall, I did pull a, a pretty cool card. I, I want to say it was the, the Toon Mermaid. Actually, no, no, I, I, pulled, the, I pulled the the Blue Eyes 2 Giant, didn't I? But I, I pulled some pretty epic cards from that previous video, so definitely check that out. So essentially, Spell Rulers, the name change of it, happened the year after the release of Magic Rulers in uh, North America. I'm not sure about anywhere else in the world, but definitely in North America. That's why, the, uh, uh, that's why the Magic Rulers is so highly sought after because of that name change, and it's only been Essentially, you, you can only get those sets in that first year. But enough of the history lesson, guys. Let's talk a little bit about the high values from this. Now, being that this is a reprint, we're not expecting crazy prices and all that jazz, but the number one card that is from this set is Snatch Steel at $29.01 as of this recording session. The second highest is the Liquid Duo, $22.55. And the third highest is Tune Summon Skull at $13.50. Um, I don't think I pulled any of those three. Uh, maybe the Liquid Duo, I'm not sure. Um, I had to double check my collection, but um, we're definitely missing a lot of cards from this. But it's not as nostalgic for me, but I still want 100% it. Uh, I'm pretty close to 100%ing the previous two sets, uh, but not. I haven't touched much of Spell Rulers to anniversary, so. And, uh, but we'll see what we get in this video. Guys, you know the drill. Press a like for luck. All right, let's do this thing. All right, guys, so here we go. Obviously, I did open this before, as you guys know, but uh, we're going to be opening every single card from this, the remaining of it, because uh, I'm kind of running out of space in my, uh, my, 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 my rear there. If you guys you can see that, I am trying to get more furniture. If you guys are wondering, like, what's, what, what's, what, what's that nastiness right there? Um, I, I know, I know, but uh, we're trying to do a couple other things that's like a little more high priority around the house. Um, I recently just moved in um, a few months ago, so I'm thinking about more about the priorities of the house and what's mostly needed. And um, since I'm a big like, you know, car guy, the garage is more priority. The, uh, the backyard was more priority. Uh, getting blinds was a more priority. Obviously, I don't got blinds for that, but I have blinds over here on my left side and around the house and whatnot. So those were more priority for me than, uh, I don't know, getting something for the door. But I have an idea what I want to do with that door. I just don't know why I'm actually doing that. That's the thing. But yeah, enough of my personal life that you guys probably don't care about. Let us go into Spell Rulers. All right, um, obviously I'm doing the, uh, the two camera setup because uh, I don't know, there's a few people that really enjoy it, so I, I kind of want to maintain that. And you know, it's, it's a pretty uh, recognizable format. Uh, most people appreciate this more so than uh, I think I did the card trick wrong, maybe. I did four instead of three, maybe, but uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, a lot of people like this format a lot more. So compared to like my video from last week, um, I, I was kind of it was like kind of too close. You couldn't even see some of the things. So I'll try to zoom in back back out but our first card here is the giant trunade super rare so that might be the the, the card to 
I guess price out. We have the Liquid Beast. We have the Daijin Bakudan. Um, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that perfectly. <laughs> we have the Red Archery Girl. The Riran. Riran. The Penguin Knight. The Twing Long Rod number two. Is there a number one? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll pop an image up. The Luminous Sparks. And the rare here, the uh, Manga Riran. So we have the uh, two version of that, of this card. So it pops out into its egg form or outside egg form. But the card of high value, of course, is more likely the giant true man. So let's check out that price right now. Probably, let me guess, 50 cents. Wow, that is very surprising. Holy bejesus, wow. Oh crap. $9.59, what? For a super rare 20th anniversary? Now keep in mind, these are prices for a year later. Obviously, uh, th these packs came out last year in uh, around this time frame. Actually, came out like a month later, but last year. But still, but still, uh, it is definitely uh, a year late price, and that's pretty damn good for a year later price. All right, I guess we're doing three to the front instead of four. the card trick correctly or else uh, Miss Zephyr will kill me in the post edits. All right, we have the Rising Air Currents. She, she might, she might. Don't, don't tell her that, even though she's probably gonna watch this video. Anyway, Flash Assailant. We have the Chain Energy. <laughs> we have the Giant Turtle who feeds on planes. Uh, the Turtle also is a ritual card, obviously. Another ritual card of the commencement dance. I think all the ritual cards, apart from maybe I don't. I, I'm trying to think. Uh, if there's only like two ritual cards that, that's actually good to get. Uh, we have the sphere, crit, crit in, the UFO turtle, and a chorus of sanctuary. So this is the only one that's, I guess, price worthy. Probably this one's probably a few cents. It's got. It's got to be less than I thought. This one is twenty-two cents. 22 cents. So we started super strong with that giant tuna. Thanks. All right, let's do this. Oops, I forgot to do the card trick. You guys have to remind me. You guys didn't remind me. All right. We have the Griggles. The Darkness Approaches. Uh, Katsudama. The Peacock, which we saw earlier. The Turtle Oak again. The Stone Org Gretto. The Dark Witch Waifu. We have the Nimble um, Momanga. And the Guardian of the Throne Room. So no, no super rare or ultra rare. Hopefully we'll get at least an ultra rare because of you know we have quite a well we should we should be able to. It, you know the the ratio makes sense. This one is 17 cents. So that is zero points this is not a versus by the way those, even though i love doing verses it's, it's not good to do those every single week because editing those videos like i'm sure it's not easy for my editors uh, reviewing those videos take a long time for me as well to do um, and then of course you know making sure i got all the the right images all the um you know the sound effects added the music added you know it, it gets kind of a enjoy editing those those portions that, that i do edit but my team definitely a big shout out to them for for working their butts off for these videos all right we have the slot machine we have a, ooh, I, th I thought we had a a, a second turtle open the same pack the octo burster the queen bird the hamburger recipe we have was it the giant drizzle no gri grizzly <laughs> drizzle and the chorus of sanctuary so only a rare all right this is 19 cents so that is pathetic <laughs> yeah we have a lot of packs here so i'm, I'm not i'm not going to dangle in too much but um as I, I was mentioning earlier like i'm not that nostalgic with this set i don't know why it's like uh 
the only thing I like I said the, the the blacklist of soldiers probably the only thing that's really good that I really want. The, 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 I think that's including the set, right? Let me, let me double check. Oh, blacklist is not here because one blacklist was here. Obviously, the tune cards is is is, is what I want. Like I'm, I'm always down for more tune cards. Oh, relinquish, yeah, he's here. So th there's not a lot of cards, guys, that that, that I really like. This is probably why it's not as nostalgic to me. But um, you know, it, it's still one of those sets where like you know, it, it's cool. It's cool. Did I do the card trick already? Oh well, we're just going with it. But uh, it just wasn't like, like I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. Like if I had the Black Lisa Soldier, maybe I'll feel it a bit more. But uh, it was, it wasn't here. Dark Zebra, the Board Soldier, and I could have sworn this came after Feral, but uh, I guess it, this one came before. UFO, and then of course the Guardians of the Third Room. I think we already graded this one already. Graded. I think we scored this one out. But we'll check it out right now. Again. All right. This one is uh, twenty-two cents. Just, just not feeling it. Some, of, some of the cars in the set. I don't know. I like oh, the, the only thing that really cool is uh, all the tune stuff because this, this one kind of focused on. I would say a lot, but there's a lot of cards in here related to Pegasus, which is of course my, my boy. Like he's like probably one of the coolest villains um, in that game. Obviously, uh, the first villain was Kaiba. Kaiba, of course, was a cool uh, villain in that anime. And of course, Pegasus being another one. But I'm always going to be nostalgic. Card trick, card trick before Miss Effort kills me. Right. Um, but uh, those are always uh, my favorite, those, those top two. Obviously, uh, Mokubo was pretty cool as well. And um, featuring the god cards um, also was pretty cool with uh, Marek. And, um, but apart from that, there's, just, just, there's not a lot of uh, cards that I, like, I really like. And I think, woo! I should know, we got this one already. And the Sonic Bird. But yeah, um, yeah there's not a lot of villains that, that I really like from like uh, after that generation. I'll talk more about that later after we grade this one. Pretty, pretty damn good centering, I think. All right, not as high as I thought. I thought it would be a lot higher, but it's only 12 cents. But a nostalgic look. Nostalgic look. But uh, that's probably why I like the, the Feral Serpents a bit more is because uh, it features a lot of cards from the uh, from Merrick and his boys and all that. So, I don't know. They're great. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting the card trick. I've been, I've been, I've been opening so much, so much rarity cards, like the rarity collection cards, that I forget about the card trick because the rarity collection doesn't really have a card trick per se. There, there might be. I think it's like maybe two or three to the front. But uh, for the most part, I think there's really nothing, uh, nothing that uh, you, can, you can do with the card trick with that one. Traitor of the Fickle. First time I saw that one. Dark Witch. We have the Shinju of a Thousand Hands and the Bakudan. Which I think was a... I think Bakudan was used by Pex as well. Oh yeah, that's actually... I was, gonna, I was gonna skip it. It probably is skippable to be honest. Number 80? Yeah, definitely skippable. <laughs> At 18 cents. Alright. Still got a lot more packs to go still. I'm pretty sure I didn't pull all the good cards from uh for that previous video I did. At least I hope not. Alright, we have the mechanical snail. The chain energy. The crab turtle. The fire kraken. The horn of light. Commencement dance. Uh, another reason why a lot of people didn't like the, the rituals, especially the early ritual cards, they're just so hard to summon. So hard to summon. Labyrinth wall, giant rat, uh, and uh, uh, malevolent nuzzler. Nuzzler. Nuzlocke challenge. All right, giant rat. 79. They're all around the same area too. I haven't, I, I haven't actually scrolled up and down my list here because they're all around the same area. But this one, of course, is a 19 cents. It's giant rat. And those, this set has a lot of cards that are like, I don't know, it's, just for me, it's like just forgettable. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like apart from like, you know, all the Pegasus cards and really just the Pegasus cards, um, this, this is really like a, a very skippable set. I almost thought about skipping it to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, we have, we have a Keith Bannon as well, but not, not a lot, not a lot. Mystic, the Ceremonial Bell, the Aco Burster, the Board Soldier, Hamburger Recipe, another Thousand Hands, and the Sonic Bird. Did we already, 
Blu-ray grade this one, so editors will just got my back on the prices. All right, we're going through these very quickly. Oh, I, oh man, I hate when it happens. You guys, what happens when you like, open a pack and just does it open properly? Now you, have, now you have to open it like weird. That's a, that's an ugly opening. Oh my god, I apologize. People throwing up in their mouths right now. All right. All right, we got Leech Tool. The, the Magical Labyrinth. Um, I, I'm trying to remember. I, I, I want to say it was the, uh, the, the brothers. I forgot their names, but obviously yeah, there'll be a picture right now. But they, they use this one, this one as well as the uh, uh, Labyrinth Wall and everything. Um, Kiaiba or Kaba. Fire Kraken. The Hamburger Recipe or Burger. Internal Rest. The Traitor or tra ta Taylor. Ooh, a new car finally. The Flying Kamakiri number one. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, this is the car I wanted. Yes. Toon Summon Skull, baby. Ooh, that is pretty. That is pretty. I think this is the third highest. I think I pulled all the two cars that I wanted to be honest. <laughs> it, it's actually gotten a little bit higher than Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon, but of course, I think those will fluctuate between time. But in regards to today's market, the market price for Tomb Southern Skull is $13.59. And yes, that is a pretty card. Yes. So in terms of like cards that I want to get, I'm still missing Relinquish. Um, I would like to get that added to my collection. That's really it, to be honest. I don't care about Snatch Steel or Liquid Duel. Those, those weren't as nostalgic to me um, as like maybe some other people, but yeah. All right, next one. And that was the, the pack that we opened up weird. So I guess uh, all that effort, you know, came to fruition with uh, opening, opening a, like a really good uh, set there. All right, Griggles. The darkness approaches. The Katokama. The ancient one of the deep forests. The Umi Ruka. Umi Ruka. Uh, sphere Kraken. Uh, Kraken. Uh, Kraken. Kraken. Yeah, Kraken. The Queen Bird. Another one of these. And the Man of the. Yeah. So we already saw this one. Price of course. And it's right there. I believe it was like probably like 15 cents or whatever. All right, still got more packs. Still got more packs. Hey, comment about down below. Let me know. Like, like, is this more nostalgic to you? Like, I mean, apart, like I said, apart from the two cards, I'm pretty sure nobody remembers much about spell rulers or magic rulers. Uh, the only thing I really like, I guess, ooh, the wall jet. That, that's the card that the brothers use. And apart from like the, the controversy of like Magic the Gathering and whatnot, suing them for using magic in their tiling, like there's really nothing like uh, interesting about the set and the tune cards and whatnot. Like, I don't know, but, but besides those elements, is there anything like you guys like about this set? Let me know. There's, there's a lot of good quick plays, by the way, but apart than that, ooh, okay, nice. The Black Illusionist Ritual. So, this is the card we need to get a relinquish. I'm not sure if I got this one already. But uh, yeah, decent, decent at one dollar and sixty-five cents. Very nice. There's really not a lot of cards that I care about from this set, to be honest. But if you do, let me know. I think in terms of like my uh, my shorts coordinator in the Sapphire, I think the only thing that is really cool about this is the fact that the pack is green. <laughs> That's probably the only thing that she will like about this. Um, she might like the two cards too, maybe. I don't know. She'll let me know in the comments. We have the Molten Destruction. If she doesn't, I'll be sad. The Typhoon number two, the Slot Machine. The Peacock, which is of course now a uh, streaming platform. Fantastic. We have the Horn of Light. The Hamburger Recipe, not sponsored, but just, you know, just so you know, just so you know. Karate Man and the Liquid Beast. All right, what is the Karate Man's? Hua! This is a uh, Hua of 11 cents, so uh, yeah, that's, that's bad. Should've been Karate Kid. Unless that was... I guess they didn't want to get sued by that either. Imagine get um, like Konami getting sued multiple times. One for using magic for magic. They got and also using uh, karate, karate Kid. 
um, using Karate Kid as their name, whatever. Yeah, they'll, they'll they might not they might not survive today. No, they they will. I think they'll be fine. The the weapon report, the Rioran, a Penguin Knight, so adorable. The Final Destiny, the Reliable Guardian, the Nimble, and the Mechanical Snail again. We already saw this card. A lot of duplicate rares, so price of course right there. But uh, a lot of duplicates, and they're not really that rare. They're common. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying some words. Uno, dos, tres. All right. The Stonic Bird, the Crab Turtle, the High Tide, uh, Geogen. I hope you get relinquished, and I'll be kind of done with this set to be honest. There's no other cards I really want. Mystic Tomato and the Magical Labyrinth. All right, Mystic Tomato. I think it's new. All right, this one's actually kind of decent for a, for a rare at 64 cents. 64. Four more packs to go. Going through this very very quickly. Now, as a kid, like as as I mentioned, if I if I had like an entire boost, well, technically it was an entire boost box, but if I, if um, the fact that I was able to open this many cards. From this pack, I, like as a kid, I would just, I would just be so happy, and I'm, I'm doing it now. But it's, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's definitely not a cheap lifestyle, that's for sure. But you know, we're just having fun along the way. The red archery girl. I think I forgot to do a card trick, but it's fine. The horn of light. Uh, giant turtle who feeds on flames. Snake fangs. Hamburger recipe. Giant Germ and the Bud uh, uh, Bakudan again. Giant Germ, I, like this was kind of a nostalgic card for me as a kid because uh, um, when I saw the rare card, oh, like I got really excited about the rare card for some reason as a kid. Oh my god, I got a rare because of the, the shininess with it. But, but I, like I, as you get older, you realize it's it's it's, it's kind of nothing. But I was really excited about this card. It also has a pretty good effect too. So if you guys read this real quick. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you click $500, $500, 500 damage to your opponent. And you can special summon any number of giant germs from your deck to a face up attack position. Like, I, I was kind of like a, almost like a burn deck, like beat down type style back in the day. And this is definitely one of the cards I use. As of right now, it's only worth 83 cents, but as a rare, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Well, I, I got some nostalgia from this from this set. Just not a lot. Just not a lot. All right, we have the toll. The fairy hand. Oh, that's another card I used back in the day. The uh, electric snake. The ancient one. The snake fangs. The twin long rod number two. Ooh, amoeba. I remember this one as well. Ooh, we have the Messenger of Peace, and I, I forgot the card trick, apparently. And then we have the Metal Fish, but this is the card that we need to, to grade. One or two. I think this is the last one before the... Uh, yeah, it is. The last one before the uh, Secret Rare. And wow, very, very nice. The second highest card today at $4.36. So that is a one point <laughs> if it, this was a Versus. Actually, third highest. Because uh, I forgot about the tune summon skull. All right, two packs, guys. Two packs. We still have a chance of maybe one more ultra rare. I would hope. I would pray. I would conceive. It's probably not the the right verb to use. The rising air current. The crab turtle. The darkness approaches. The curse of fiend. The gravekeeper servant. The the whip tail crow. Stone or Greto, the Shining Angel, and the Grills. Look at that majestic beast. Look at that. It's like He-Man, but with wings. He-Man. This one is only uh, 23 cents. So definitely nothing to be, to kind of write home about. All right, guys, final pack here, final pack. All right. Guys, no drill. Can we finish strong with an ultra rare? Can we get relinquish? That'd be that'd be pretty legit. That'd be pretty dang legit. 
All right, we have the molten destruction. We have the uh, weather report, the electric snake, the electric slide, the performance of sword. It's almost like the precursor to the uh, performer pal, but you know, less cute, I guess. Curse of Fiend, the final destination, snake fang, ooh, the hero, shadow, scout, and the house of adhesive tape, which I think is a pretty useful card bag today as well. All right, Shadow Scout. I was also pretty excited about this card as well until, until I realized the, the effect is actually not that great. <laughs> and it shows here by being the lowest card in this video at nine cents. All right, guys, decent, decent session today. We, we definitely pulled at least two of the cards that I need to add to my collection. Um, we have still yet to pull the Relinquish, I, I think. I don't think I pulled that one yet. And I think, uh, I think I got all the two cards because I got the blue eyes two dragon. Got this one just now. Um, yeah, I think I pulled all the two cards that were available at this time. I don't think Toon Darmishan Girl was available yet. Then it comes out later. Also, too, there wasn't a lot of support for two cards at that time either. So it was definitely pretty hard and difficult to use a Toon deck back in the day. People still did it because people just love Pegasus. People love Toon cards. Um, and that was really the only reason why to get this set. But as I mentioned before, it's quite skippable. But I'm definitely, definitely excited for the next one, which of course is the Pharaoh's Servants. Now, I think I always pronounce it like servant or like, like I don't know, weirdly or thing, but I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. We'll, we'll put the pronunciation somewhere in the video, I guess. Servant. Pharaoh. Servant. But anyway, that's pretty much all I got, guys. So there's actually no sponsor for today's video, but if you guys do want to support the show, because I do these videos every single week because I do enjoy opening packs and I, I love your reactions. I love my reactions when I open up very, very cool cards. If you do want to support the show and all the things that I do, definitely check out that video link. It's an acrylic case that I use, you know, obviously to kind of protect some of my booster cards, my booster decks and stuff like that. It's just an Amazon video link and all that, but definitely goes a long way, especially protecting your investment, protecting your cards. And of course, it also helps me out here in this channel. I think we're, about, I think we're actually doing, uh, we're gonna do a Pokemon next week, I think. And well, it depends. It depends on two things. If I get my my shipments in for my next set, which of course is more of the OTS sets, the official tournament store cards, tournament cards, the versus of that, of the latest one, at a old school one. So new school versus old school yet again makes a return. But if for some reason I don't get those in time, I do have, of course, these that were sent to me by a fellow viewer, the temp Temporal Forces. So I finally got a chance to open this as well as the Twilight Masquerade. So a versus of these two. Thank you guys for sending in your stuff. Obviously, if you guys want to send me stuff for open up in a video, I do have my address, my PO box address. If you guys want to send me stuff to open up in a future video. So we're doing Pokemon soon, guys. Finally, right? Finally. We did the celebration thing, so technically we did Pokemon before, but now it's just strictly Pokemon. But anyway, I'm enough rambling, guys. You guys don't want to hear all the crap, but I'll definitely see you guys next week. You guys want to see a video relations to Spell Rulers, my previous video of the Metal Raiders, linked right over here. So definitely check that out. Now, I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This, of course, is the new outro. <laughs> no, it's not. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.